everybody, Mandis Buck here with Maximum Muscle Report with the 2019 Arnold Classic alongside Jose Raymond. You guys are in for a treat in the press pit. The introduction of Jose Raymond now on this side of things. Jose, it's a natural fit. The fans and we even want to hear what you have to say breaking down the 2019 Arnold Classic lineup, which was a pretty deep lineup. You know, we were in second and third callouts talking about some guys looking sharp. So why don't you just go ahead down the list. Let's start with competitor number one, Brandon Curry. Well, Brandon walked out on stage immediately. I was sitting next to Chris Cito and behind you, and we both went, wow. He didn't even hit a pose. He just walked. Just the way he was walking on stage, I knew that we were seeing a new level of Brandon Curry. And, um, and it sure was. He didn't disappoint. Um, those pictures that he was posting online, he lived up to every bit of it. And uh, it was by far the best version of him that I've ever seen. And I was excited because I love Brandon. He's a great guy. Um, he was the balls. He was, he was yeah. uh, everything. And then next came out. Akeem Williams. Akeem. And you know what? Akeem looked really good. His upper body was a little soft. His legs were awesome. His hamstrings were shredded. He was huge. Um, his shape is good, but, he, you know, he, Brandon was still light years ahead of everyone. And then Luke came out. And Luke was fantastic. His condition was awesome. Like, and I was worried that Luke, you know, being young, um, and previously when he tried to come in too hard, he would flatten out. He didn't have the same pop. And the, but no, man, he nailed it his all-time best as well. And um, he was shredded from behind, and he didn't lose any of that pop. So I was psyched, excited for him. Um, you know, for me... Being a competitor, I know what everyone goes through. Yeah. Um, and this is the first year in over five years that I've been able to just sit and relax and truly enjoy the show. Um, usually I'm competing. Right. And, and I'm exhausted or emotionally beat up and, and can't really get into it. This year, I was so excited to see, to see each and every person come out. So I'm happy for Luke. Congratulations, Luke. Um, who was next? You had your good old buddy, Tank Charles Tank. Dixon. Tank. You know moving what? Moving up, moving uh, up in it all open. Yeah, well, unfortunately, there was no 212 venue for him this year, and he wanted to compete. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think Charles didn't. He don't care. You know, he wants to compete. Right. He don't care if it's against six footers or five footers or, or whatever. And you know what? He didn't let it get to him mentally. He did his job. He came in condition. He looked great. You know, he's just um, with Charles. He doesn't have the greatest shape. He's similar to me. But we don't have teeny tiny waists. We're more of the mass monsters. Um, but, well, when you go in against true mass monsters that are 5'10", 5'9", um, you know, it's easy for you to get, to lo get lost. And that's why they developed the 212 to begin with, because great physiques were getting lost standing next to taller guys. Uh, that being said, he looked great. He represented himself well. Uh, I'm happy for him. Um, and a little piece of information people probably don't know is he was the oldest fellow on stage. Um, People would usually think that Victor was, but, but Charles is a year older than Victor. So um, dude is holding it together and, and, and representing himself well. And I just love the guy. We would do an interview, but you can't understand Charles. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just talk about him for him. Yeah. You, you had Roly uh, after Charles there. So Roly, uh, a few weeks ago, a video came out of him guest posing. Everyone was like, oh, he was a mess. He was... Um, I was pleased with the way he was able to pull it together compared to that video. It just certainly wasn't enough. No. Um, you had a few guys here that brought their best, and uh, Roley wasn't one of them. Um, he's still massive, and when he hits that front double bicep, his shape is beautiful. His front relaxed is probably the best in bodybuilding when he's in shape, um, when he's really on. But when he's not on 100%, his legs even looked downsized. Mm. His legs weren't separated. Right. His middle back wasn't dry. He was, you know, he was missing all the things that can really bring him to the next level. And um, it, it wasn't his day. No. no. You had you had to return a big Josh Lenowitz. Wow, looked fantastic. He, he, he weighed in at 274, 275. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Josh. Uh, 
what a great guy. He's a great representative of the sport. Well-spoken kid. Um, can't say enough good about him, right. you know. Uh, Physique-wise, he's another one who has to be pulled in um, to really see the benefits of his physique. He's got huge legs. He's massive up top. In fact, I picked him to win. If what they were saying were the words, you know, 280, 275, shredded, peeled, um, I think he spilled. He spilled, and going against guys with better structure and spilling is is a recipe for disaster. So um, he's nowhere near where I thought he could have placed had he been 100%. That being said, if he nails it in a couple of weeks in, right. in Australia, you know, I'm not saying he can't, but uh, kind of like Roly today wasn't the day. Right. Where we expect being at home, Josh, is, is probably going to really pull things together. Uh, I hope so. At home. I expect big things from him this year, next year, and many years to come. Next was a great surprise, a return, Victor, the age is creeping up, but boy, you know, he, he was in good shape. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I was sitting there watching and, and, and like talking during the whole thing and people are saying, do you say anything bad about anyone? You know, don't sugarcoat it. And I'm like, I, man, Victor's had injuries. He's had every up and down you can imagine. He came back and he looked good. You know, he was in good shape. His legs looked good. No, it wasn't the best version of Victor. It wasn't his, I think he was overlooked. I think he should have been compared to more, uh, uh, to people in front of him. Um, I'm, uh, uh, Victor's a friend of mine. Uh, I'm not saying it because of that. I just think he could have gotten a shot. His rear double looked great to me. His hamstrings were really tight. Um, he was never the guy that had like super striated glutes. He would be separated, dry, hard. Um, this was a good version of Victor, one of yeah, the best we've seen in a few years. Yeah. Now, is somebody that now well, there's been a lot of buzz lately. He's not definitely was not the biggest guy on stage, but wow, the conditioning, Rafael Brando, you you were wooing and hawing when you when you saw him posing. And Man, posing. by himself, he's he's a clear winner. Like yeah. like you can't find anything wrong with him until you stand him next to thicker, bigger guys. Um, he had the best condition that he's had. His shape is outstanding. He's got wide shoulders, tiny, tiny waist, great quads. They're so dug out, his quads, strided. Um, this was the hardest he's ever been from behind. He had feathers in his lower back and the lat spread. He just needs time to put on a little more muscle. I think he's only 25, maybe 26. Um, just got to put on a little bit of tissue each year. Uh, show, and he's going to beat a lot of these yeah. guys. Uh, he's the one like the, to watch out for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't say enough good about him. Like certain shots, his side tricep with all the lines and detail, and and just the way he's put together is outstanding. I can't wait to see him fulfill his potential and that frame. You know, then then we had Cedric McMillan who. Is a, is a huge fan favorite. This is a show he loves to do, but you never know what version of Cedric McMillan you're going to get, and uh, today was, was not one of the best versions of Cedric McMillan. You know, Cedric is an enigma. You, you don't, not only do you not know what you're going to get, but I don't think his body knows what it wants to do because his hamstrings were some of the driest in the whole stage, and then he had a film on his abs. You know, it's funny... I think some of the judges were probably yelling to the head judge, like, hey, let, let, let's put Cedric up there. And said, Steve was probably like, all right, you want to see him? He called him out, ab and thigh. That was the, that was the first call they, they made him hit, which you know is his weakest shot right now because he was glaring that he, he had some film in, a, in his midsection. But as he's posing, as he's hitting his shot, he's the tallest. He's got to have 23-inch arms. His arms are massive. He was his beautiful physique. Mm, you start getting bamboozled into like, wow, he looks unreal, really. And he did move up. He did move up. I believe he's going to end up in fourth place, yeah, yeah. Um, which is awesome. You know, but he's just so big. And he wasn't like way, way off. Cedric is one of those guys, If he, he's so tall that if he comes in too sharp, he looks stringy and flat. And he's trying to find that balance of huge and decent condition. Uh, I think he just missed the mark. He's, yeah, 
but like I said, I think he's going to be fourth. And, and and in a show like this, as ironic as it is, that's that's literally the difference between winning the Arnold and maybe ending up fourth or fifth. Yeah, that's really something to, for for those people out there to think about. You know, Stephen Kuklo. Steve, I loved it. I loved it. You know what? I, I mentioned him in our in our uh, preview. Yep. Um, love Steve. He's so big. He's another one who's a victim of his own frame. He's just so massive. He's probably 280, and he looks like he can put another 25 yeah. pounds of muscle yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, but as Steve goes and he gains confidence and he's posing, and this is the first time I've ever seen this, Roley lose the most muscular mm -hmm. pose, and he lost it to Steve Kuklo, which was so cool, you know. Um, Roley's got the best, most muscular on the planet, but not today. Steve nailed it, was, was in great condition. Um, he just, I don't know what he needs. He needs more muscle. Like, it's weird. Um, this wasn't, I'd say, his best condition. He was in good condition. I think he was better in Indy. Indy uh, last year. Yeah. yeah. But that, that could also be who he was standing next to. Um, but I do think he was, he was a little sharper last year. He, he, this wasn't the, the best condition, but it was a great package. And I love that he's just... You know, he's hanging and banging. He loves you. You see the excitement on his face. And he was really aggressive and, and uh, having a blast out there. And, and it plays well for him because he yeah. is one of those guys who gets harder and harder and better and better as he poses. He did. A lot of other guys just tend to fade as yeah. they're up there. Um, the overall winner uh, at a show a year or two ago, uh, McCauley, um, you know, he, he was up there. He did his thing. Uh, what did you see? Well, for all you guys out there, it's it's, it's Mikhail. Mikhail, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Mikhail. He, he's a young kid. He, he's a little top heavy. His legs are um, kind of thin. They were shredded, you know. He had good hamstrings. From behind, he looked real sharp. His legs are just undersized for his upper body. He's got crazy arms. Some of the craziest sharp bicep peaks in the show. Um, he's a, he's a work in progress. Um, you know, not much you can say. He's 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 learning. He's 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 gonna pay his dues. I don't know how old he is, but I think he's very young, like younger than Raphael. So that being said, he's you know he needs time. Yeah. Not in this lineup today. Right. You know. No. And wrapping it up was William Bonick. Bonick is is he's a beast. Um, so when 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 we said earlier that when. Brandon walked out. We were like, wow. Well, he was the second wow. Uh, like a wow, wow. Like, everyone's texting me, oh, yeah, Brandon won, Brandon won. Well, if you're sitting in the back of the auditorium and you're looking strictly shape, sure. If you're looking at a blurry uh, a live stream, sure, Brandon looks like the winner. From a matter of feet away in the row that I sat in, I have William winning so far things could change tonight but William was so big so much muscle so conditioned he doesn't have the shape that Brandon has but he's got every ounce of muscle and more his lower body is arguably I, he kind of looked like Roden like the, the giant glutes strided you know uh, massive quads strided every single muscle was strided and deep striated um, I, I don't think he could be any better. Like, at the Olympia last year, he was a little, um, like, got a little d d stomach midsection yeah. issue, and that's kind of what bumped him down. Um, that, w that wasn't there today. It wasn't an issue. His rear double by was crystal clear. His hams and glutes were deep. His side leg looked like a horse. His arms are crazy. As crazy as Brandon Nambar, his arms were crazier. Um, you know, the, the, he didn't win every shot, but I have him winning. Um, you know, Brandon has that front lat spread that I don't think anyone can touch. Um, the front double was close. Brandon's shape is better. Bonac's condition is clearer. Um, the side chest is, I mean, you could go through every pose, and its you can argue for either of them, but at the end of the day, Brand, uh, Bonac to me, it's a bodybuilding show. It's not classic physique. Right. 
He had the most jam-packed conditioned muscle, period. And it's not like his shape is awful. It's not Brandon, right. but very few are. Um, I have him winning, and I've been wrong before. But unless something miraculous happens tonight, they're going to take a deep, hard look at him again yeah. because it is close. Um, and if one of them decides to do the wrong thing or, or, or whatever, but I'm looking forward to another battle. Steve called them out, just the two of them, put them through the runs. He's going to do it again tonight. So they're both going to have an opportunity to fight for it. Um, and I'm excited to see it. I can't wait. There you have it, guys. That just broke down the entire 2019 Arnold Classic lineup. Compliments to one and only Jose Raymond. Stay tuned for everything else tonight. Till next time, Jose Raymond, Mandis Buckle, Maximus Report. We're out.